Hey YouTube, welcome back to the next part in this series. I hope you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. On with the show. So hey YouTube, welcome back to Part-Time Fab. We are going to get straight into this build, not wasting any time. So if you watched the last video on this particular build, we left off. We were building the, uh, we were cutting these things and what I'm doing now is just marking the center line to be able to put a bolt in the top to have something to uh, bolt them to the cart. What I'm going to use is a little uh, uh, the spring punch to put a little indention and then the bigger punch to drive the big hole or to, to drive the, the deep mark. Okay, so we've made it this far. We have our back plate cut out. We have, I don't even know what you would call this, this where the cable is going to sit. And then we have this smaller plate cut out that will go on the front to hold the cable on this little spool, half spool. So I've cleaned these up. There's a little bit of rust left. But uh, we're going to weld them together, and I have this little vise here that I use to weld with, and it just fits the width of this. So I'm, what my, when I discovered that, I figured I'll just set all these in here, line them up straight, put all that together, clamp, wind it down, clamp it in and it will be a perfect fixture to hold all this together while we weld them together. I really hope to get a video out soon of the arc welding capabilities of this machine. It really does uh, stick weld extremely well. I'm really pleased with it. So I know what you're thinking. Why in the world are you getting out the arc welder? Well, I just thought it would be pretty cool to get to arc weld these instead of MIG or TIG. So, I've uh, been using the arc welding a little bit, playing with that. And uh, the uh, Power MIG 210MP, had, it arc welds like a champ. So, um, I think that's what we're going to do. So, let, let's get to it here. So we're going to make a few dry runs here to kind of get ready for the uh, hand positions that you need to be able to get into when you're stick welding. Um, I, I really got into this and, and I did not do a very good job at all. Um, I think if I had, had thought about it, I should have turned this clamp up on its side or up on the end, I should say because it, it probably would have allowed me to make a better bead. Uh, I'm not real sure. I got two of these done using the stick weld method, and then I, I was just having so much spatter, and, and it, it was really just, it was going to make for a lot of cleanup. Uh, where I'm going to use these for cable hangers I just you know I don't want to wear my cables out too too bad so in the middle I did switch over to using the MIG, weld, MIG welding process and it it really reduced the amount of spatter and amount of cleanup that I had to do so that's that's kind of the way I finished it out the, the welds seem to come out real good I did weld them fully all the way around even though I didn't really need to I mean it's just to hold cables but um, as you can see here I got the uh, the flap wheels out and done a, a lot of uh, cleanup work on the two that I did with the uh, uh, that I stick welded they took uh, took a lot of cleanup 
And then I got once I got all that all the BBs off and and the welds kind of cleaned up, I took the file and and really uh, done a number on them, made them real smooth to rub your hand on, so uh, nothing would uh, wear the cables out or anything like that. So where I needed to paint these things, I came up with this handy little wood rack out of some old scrap that I had. And uh, other than the wind that I've got today, this is going to work pretty well. So the wind did eventually die down and I was able to get these things painted. Uh, I think it was the next day, but it um, took a little while, got them painted took, uh, I don't know, put probably uh, two or three coats on there, then I sanded a little bit and put one more coat on to kind of clean up some some runs and some bad spots. And uh, here you can see I've got them mounted and getting this, these cables are a mess with this machine. Just uh, where it's a multi-purpose machine, you got all the cables hanging there and um, you just need really somewhere to somewhere to put them all so that's what we've done we've made the cable management and uh, this uh, this welding cart really has turned out I really like it can't believe how well it's turned out and I couldn't be happier with it so with that we're gonna call it done and I'd like to thank everybody for watching and uh, if you would, please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Part-Time Fab.